I feel like winning the World Cup would validate us. So obviously we've had tremendous success in World Cups and, and in the Olympics, and it hasn't been won in a while. So I feel like for us, uh, it's that, um, that thing that's been kind of looming over our heads that we've been missing that we obviously want to capture this summer. We have so many different personalities and players that could change the game at any moment. So I feel as though our preparation and, and our work um, together, both on and off the field, kind of unites us in this common goal uh, to win the World Cup. Number 17, Tobin B. With the mother bar. <laughs> well, tonight I have never been more surprised. And I had to see if you were real. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Love you too. Love it's, it. it's over. We're over it. I'm married. I'm married. I was on time to this. <laughs> so now it's time to meet the new, new kids. They're not even that cool. We have grown as a professional league. There's a bee on you. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, we have grown as a <laughs> professional. <laughs> oh, that doesn't even sting. You're you're overreacting. <laughs> what? I think I think it I would be the first person to I be stung it, by that. I think it likes your Where'd it go? dress. Oh, it's on you. No, it's not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right. Oh. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Uh... Harry had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Harry had a little lamb. She's the littlest lamb of all. <laughs> I think told me that she was gonna follow me everywhere, and since then she has. Show you a little bit of Tobin Heath. PTFC, baby! Let's go! <laughs> Tobin! Tobin Heath here. Why did I call you Tobin <laughs> Heath? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. Doesn't make sense. Let me see you hit that footwork live. <laughs> I was saying we too much. I was like, we, 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 we. <laughs> yeah, because it's the only word I knew. Exactly. And I wanted the boss. Yeah. What? There's a wave. Smile. Bonjour. To me, Monk. What she said. Yeah. <laughs> That's not swimming. That's not swimming. Your hands are on the ground. Okay. <laughs> Sing, 
Sing for me. Sing for me, please. Sing, sing to me, Carlo. What do you want? Sing for me. Uh, and I wanna know. Rip it. Yellow bottle chick. Yellow bottle chick. Yellow Lamborghini. Yellow top missing. Yeah, yeah. Oh! <laughs> I'm just about to win. Yes! Monop deal. It's a pretty sweet game. It's very addicting. Mm. I think Alex is about to win. Typical. <laughs> yeah, cow. I'm gonna take part from here right now, so. Stop, Jay! <laughs> Le soulier est perdu pour l'américaine Tobin Hiss. I think all of them actually speak English, but they just <laughs> like looking at making us look like fools trying to speak French. I'm not lying. Hold on. Better? She don't know anything about me. You don't know me. I'm from Basque Ridge. Yeah, and you're from. <laughs> Sure, the most is I probably haven't. Danny's my friend because I feel bad for her and I feel like she needs some more friends, so I try and help her out. <laughs> Multi-dimensional, multi-talented, and multi-cool. Two, three. Oh, okay. I didn't know what you were saying. That. You just said that. <laughs> okay, so tell us the story. We got Nintendo Switch. She had it first. Right. I got a Nintendo Switch. Okay, so Tobin had a Nintendo Switch. Oh. 
And had to get a little surgery, but um, I think it looks all right. Who really cares, right? It's just your nose. But uh, no. <laughs> Am I live? Are you sure? What's up everyone? This is Tobin here. Gonna answer some of your questions. How are you, your handles on a basketball? I'm like Steph Curry. I taught him a few things. Just kidding. <clears throat> my favorite food. I think my favorite food would have to be It's tough. I just like food in general. I love eating out. I love going to new restaurants. I love trying new food. Uh, I feel like super spoiled like that. And I'm always traveling, so I'm always in sweet cities with a lot of good food. And it's sweet because I play in Portland where I think it's just such a foodie city and I love trying new places there. Top three favorite cities would have to be I love New York, I love LA, and I love Portland, definitely. And and Paris, of course, was, was good to me during my time there. Why isn't Lauren your favorite holiday? <laughs> That's a really good one. Lauren is my favorite holiday. I miss that girl so much. And yeah, she was one amazing player, but even better friend. <laughs> pre-game ritual I feel like a lot of people always ask me that like what do you do before game um, I always like I love playing night games I think there's no better thing um, and I always hard chill the whole entire day I literally probably don't move or raise my heart rate at all um, I don't really have any superstitions or anything like that so um, when I get to the game I just kind of do what I feel like I need to do to be ready to play. Waffles or pancakes? I love breakfast. I'm a huge breakfast person. Um, even if I wake up at in the afternoon, I have to have breakfast first. Um, so I'd probably say both waffles and pancakes because I kind of carb load in general, <laughs> which may not be the best thing, but um, yeah, I'd say waffle, pancakes. Um, and bagels are definitely my staples. Favorite thing to do in the off season? My favorite thing to do in the off season is definitely to be at the beach, to hang out with my family, to do all those things that like you just don't get to do during the season. Even something like go for a hike or something like that because just so much about our downtime when we're in the season is just about recovery and, and making sure you're ready for that next training camp that next game so I just I love those opportunities to kind of like get to see my family whenever I want and be at the beach. Messi or Ronaldo? What a good question. Uh, Messi. <laughs> Messi's the best. Uh, I think when Ronaldo was younger I I was a huge Ronaldo fan because I felt like he was just um, super fun to watch. Nowadays, he's just so decisive. I mean, it's just he could take three touches in the game and all three are goals, which is cool. But I just feel like Messi still creates so many opportunities for himself when he dribbles through like the whole team and scores. So in that way, I enjoy watching Messi play. Boom, boom, boom. I think my spirit animal is a dolphin because uh, I love being in the water and I love riding waves. And I feel like they're so chill and stuff and, and they look friendly. And then they can like also beat up sharks. So they're kind of like awesome in that way too because like they're not scared of anything. Um, so I'd say that's my spirit animal. Tobin Heath, AKA Harry. She can't talk to me unless she has coffee first. To be fair, I'm pretty guilty of being probably one of the worst. If I ask her questions, she just will, hmm, hmm. And I could just see in her face that she hasn't had coffee. The most surprising right now is definitely Ashlyn Harris. She used to complain about like other dogs coming 
over to her house and like leaving like hair and she'd be like they're just like so gross and then like she gets her own and it's like I don't even know her anymore so I would say the the vegans definitely have like a warped sense of like what tastes good <laughs> once you become a vegan like you just don't remember what good food tastes like they'll be like oh this like cookie's so good this vegan cookie's so good and like you try it and you're like no let me show you what a real cookie tastes like <laughs> She's had a good game today in the midfield. Long on the ball now, number 10. Played here, Tobin Heath. Got it away from Scott. Picks up Sinclair. What's your guilty pleasure? Candy. Oh, man. Sour candy. We're a guilty same. pleasure for both of us is sour candy. Yep. Charlie B asked, if you weren't playing soccer, what would you be doing? I would probably still be in school. Physical therapy. Like, I'd be a vet. No. <laughs> I think I would want to be a professional tennis player or a surfer. I'm yeah. not surprised by or the surfer. Or actually, I would want to be like a farmer. Those are very different things. Andrew M. asked, what's your pump up song? Some like hardcore rap. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite pump up song is anything I would say in the top 50s. Oh, you're a pop Playlist. chick. Yeah, but I could also listen to some hardcore rap. Solomon B. asks, what have you learned from playing for the national team? I think there's something about sport and how it teaches you so many lessons that are really applicable to off the field as well. Dylan B. asked, who was your inspiration? My inspiration growing up playing soccer was my sister. She played soccer growing up. I think that's also what made me so competitive. My inspiration was Ronaldinho. He made soccer look like so much fun and he made it look so cool and effortless. Alyssa V. asked, what's your favorite sports movie? Mighty Ducks or Cool Running. And my favorite sports movie growing up was Double Teamed. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Stick it. But n I actually watched that the other night. Gabe R. asks, what are your favorite moments playing for the national team? Every time you put on the jersey, it's, it's a really sweet feeling. Every time we drive up to stadiums and there's tons of people seeing the love and the pride that everyone has for our country and our, our team. Jamie G. asks, how do you make friends as an adult? Um... I don't know. Friendships just happen. It's kind of like an organic thing. Which one of your teammates did you look up to growing up? I was fortunate enough to play with Abby Wambach, one of the greatest goal scorers of all time. And Lauren Holiday, I think, is someone I've always looked up to. Tobin, mm -hmm. Jen B asks, what was it like to buy a house? Settling down in one city um, and buying a house and becoming a part of a community and growing up a little bit was super cool. And I think the best part is coming home and just like having all your stuff in one place, I think is like a pretty sweet feeling. It's just, you know, a shell and then you kind of make it a home. So it's been fun. Dinner party. Ooh, love them. Uh, mostly attending them. <laughs> Not, Not cooking. Not them. <laughs> cooking. Don't do it. Credit cards. Pay them. Taxes. I hate paying taxes every single year. 
Laundry. <laughs> I hate laundry. <laughs> I saw your room today. Um, mortgage. Um, a lo long time. Long term mortgage. 30 years. Home buying. I'm doing that soon. Oh, congrats. Thanks. Yeah, that's huge. It is the day after the game, so we're just trying to get our legs moving. We've already had a pool workout, ice baths, massage. So this is just to get our legs moving and uh, enjoy beautiful Vancouver. That's crazy in a small world. Chocolate. What kind did you buy the rest? All right, all right. <laughs> just got crazy. Woohoo! Cheers! <laughs> Actually, yeah, I just was too lazy to do my hair, so I figured I'd put it on that. I really like the metropolitan area here. I'm from New Jersey, so obviously I'm very familiar with these parts. <laughs> I hope this is cut.